Hi guys, today we're going to modify this scooter. We're going to take it from 36 to 48 volts, but before we do that, we're going to go through each thing that you need and a few All right, starting with thing number one, the most important thing is a battery. It is a 7 amp hour battery that comes factory in the scooter. I've seen these batteries online for as cheap as $7.50. However, I bought this locally at my interstate battery store. Kind of overpaid for it, but um, this part number may work for you. Uh, if you want to buy this battery at a local place, any auto parts place like Advance, AutoZone, all those guys, they have this little okay, battery. The second thing, and the second most important thing you're going to need is a new 48 volt charger. This is the factory one. I have not purchased one as yet. I have some other plans that's going to make me skip the 48 volt charger. But for you, here's the research and uh, the numbers, the rough numbers that you need to know, okay? Um, 1670 milliamps is. 1.67 amps so you're gonna need a 48 volt charger that puts out 48 volts at at least 1.67 amps or at least 1670 milliamps okay um, also if you want to keep the installation clean and just use your factory charge port there um, yeah you're gonna need to get one that obviously is set up just like the factory one which this is it so it's called an SLA uh, adapter. Um, you can come on here. I started in Google with just 48 volt scooter charger. And um, the site that I found that had the, what do you call that? The SLA three pin plug was electricscooterparts.com. And you can see there, that's factory 1.6 amps. I was interested in the 2.5 amp one to maybe speed up the charge time a little bit but I wouldn't go any more than this that I think would hurt them or reduce the lifespan on the batteries that's the one you're interested in there 48 volt 1.6 amp charger with 3 pin SLR plug you can see the diagram shows that it would work for you and um, like I said I was more interested in the 2.5 volt one but the price jumps up there uh, it's 70 bucks plus shipping I think the shipping's over $10 so factory equivalent would be this one for 50 bucks but yeah that's uh you're gonna need to get one of these you cannot plug your factory charger into there it caused some problems electricscooterparts.com remove the screws from the board and you just basically remove it and then what you're going to see inside if you take a look is this battery support right here uh, this is the first thing to go so you're just going to pull up on this like so and then that's going to go bye bye the reason being now we're going to have four batteries in here and this thing is set up to hold three in place so that's what your factory setup looks like in order to modify the scooter and put another battery in here we're going to cut this line and then loop this positive to the negative of your new battery and the long half that remains we're going to connect to the positive of your new battery and that'll be pretty much it for connecting okay, back to the thing so yeah um, I cut that there as you can see that's how they were hooked up I snipped them made about a two inch extension put a female spade connector on this end put a straight crimp on this end and then on um, the piece coming off of the battery all I did was uh, put another female spade connector and um, let's drop the new battery in here and well, before you do that good news is there's plenty of room inside so all I had to do was just kind of slide it over that battery there's just enough room for that battery I think I'm good like that. And then obviously this is how you connect the battery in series. From the positive of that. And then the remaining wire, which obviously is the lengthier piece, will go to the red. No spark, so that means it's good. 
Okay, so that's what it looked like with 48 volt setup, and um, we can use this image for reference, but that's exactly how the proper setup is there. Now, to hook up the charger, this is very important, so make sure you're paying attention here. If you want to keep your factory charge port and just have a clean, you know, just utilize what you already have, and especially if you buy the three-pronged charger, that should go right in there. What you're gonna then need to do is trace down where your yeah, back up a little. You trace where your factory charge wires are going to. Okay. And if you'll notice they're going down there to the actual controller. This 36 volt controller does the job of charging the batteries. The power goes to it and then from it go to the battery circuit. You don't want that when you go with your 48 volt controller because if you plug it in there without reconfiguring these wires you're going to damage that controller immediately. Um, it can handle another battery just fine but for some reason it can't handle charging a 48 volt circuit. So you're going to need to disconnect it here by pressing this tab in. Okay, so you're going to need to disconnect it. It needs to come straight from your charging port and then now you need to trace down the main battery harness which this is your main harness because that's what goes straight to the batteries and then it probably would be a good idea to get out a voltmeter and confirm positive and negative but I would just go with the red on red there black on black either this end or on this end it shouldn't really matter but yeah you want to connect into the big gauge black and red there and match them up black and red black and red and once you do that and you're all set you can now plug your 48 volt charger in there you're going to need to figure out something to support the batteries because they are heavy and they will move around on any bumps this is what i used i think it's what is this two inch foam from like a fabric store i just got a piece enough of it so it needs to really squish and keep everything firm and i didn't it's been working fine for me but get some pressure down in there put everything back together which I assume you'll know by now so I won't go through that but yeah put that together you're done